Sunday, May 11, 2014. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1983 Mercedes 240 Diesel. Uh, it's one of those rare times when I'm actually on camera here. Uh, as if you've been following along, you know that uh, in the past couple of months I've actually finally finished the passenger side floor and rocker panel, and the uh, rear quarter panel, the rear passenger side of the uh, trunk, and the front passenger fender. Now there's a couple of things I still kind of need to do to the side. I need to put the door seals back in. Uh, I need to do the filler and finish work there on the fender. But um, the long and the short of it is right now I'm at a really good place where I can turn the car around uh, so I can get started on the driver's side. Because uh, although I've had the car for two years, I have not yet done any serious exploration of the driver's side floor. It could be mostly solid it could be rusted out pretty badly. I really just don't know yet. I have to get the seat out, I have to take up the, uh, the coatings inside the car and the undercoating uh, in order to get a look at the metal. But uh, uh, long and the short of it is uh, I gotta turn the car around really in order to get started on that. Because I just don't have quite enough room to work on this side of the garage. So uh, over the winter I did charge the battery and uh, it's been sitting outside the car for a couple of months now, but I am pretty sure that the car should start up and that I should be able to move it. So, you know, cross your fingers with me. Let's see if this thing starts and moves. Making sure it's out of gear. And And this just goes to demonstrate one of the reasons I love these cars so much. I, it hasn't so much been started in at least six months, and started up first bump of the key without any problems. And aside from the fact that it doesn't have an exhaust system on it, it actually sounds pretty good. So, uh, the car is filthy with dust from uh, sitting in the garage and from working on it. So, before I actually turn the car around, I'm gonna give it a very quick, uh, a very quick basic hose down and wash. So, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna turn it around and back it into the garage. Well, as you can see, I got the car in the garage and turned around now. Um, really not too much more to say about that. While I had it outside, I actually did uh, wash the whole car down again. I'm not sure how much of that is showing up on video, but it's about as clean as it gets these days. So, uh, I'm not going to be working too much longer today. Uh, the cleaning actually took longer than I thought it would. But uh, what I'm definitely going to do is get that driver's seat out of there and just start a basic exploratory surgery on, that, uh, on the passenger side floor and rocker. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, but basically i got to know what I'm dealing with on this side. Uh, in terms of the passenger side, like I said, I still have to put the door seals back in and uh, I'm definitely going to be able to reuse those door seals, even though one of them, I think the front was split, um, the rubber it was split just in one portion, um, the rubber was still pliable and otherwise looked okay, so I'll probably just fill that bit in with some uh, silicone once I have the uh, door seal reinstalled. As for the driver's side, when I was cleaning the door jams on this side, and that's, once again, what took some time, uh, I noticed that the at least the front driver's door seal was in pretty poor shape. So um, I may end up replacing that. Uh, I didn't really pay too much attention to the rear, but it makes sense that it would be in roughly the same shape. So, like I said, uh, I am going to spend the rest of my time this afternoon getting out the driver's seat and... Uh, just uh, you know, starting to explore the driver's side of the body. And uh, you know, hopefully I won't be working on this two years, maybe just a few months if I'm lucky. So uh, wish me luck. 
this is probably going to be it for today's video. So this is Mer this is Mercedes Diesel guy. Thanks for watching.